Hi everyone, and welcome back to Three Inquisitive Kids. This is our first lesson to the fifth grade Olympiad problem series. So, the videos I've made before uh, for the all of those different types of problems, like um, you know, meta problems, catcher problems, those types are are supposed to be in fourth grade, but the videos will be organized differently now. Um, starting from fifth grade. So that's just something you, sh you can know. And some topics are going to be reintroduced and relearned in this series, but at a much higher level. So with each of those lessons, I will be pasting the link to the basics video in the description below. So in case anyone is your first time and you're you're a beginner to some of these, you can always go and watch our fourth grade basics video. So this is our first lesson on tricks to calculating fractions. So around, you know, fifth grade, fourth grade, sixth grade, a lot of the problems are going to involve fractions So and whole numbers, but the whole numbers are most likely going to be in sequences. So you're going to have to find patterns. So this is going to be our lesson to tricks to calculating fractions. But first, I want to introduce you to the golden sequence because this sequence is so important that it's going to come up in every single problem we're going to do today. So this is called the golden sequence. So there's 2, 6, 12, 20, 30, 42, and 56. Now, what's the pattern in here? What's so special about this? What's going to be the next number? So let's first look at it from addition. We know that it has to do something with increasing because the numbers are getting bigger and bigger. Let's try addition. 2 plus 4 equals 6. 6 plus 6 equals 12. 12 plus 8 equals 20. Let's do one more. 20 plus 10 equals 30. Now, this is a very interesting pattern we just uncovered because the, even though this sequence itself isn't, doesn't have a specific difference to each of these terms, these numbers, but their differences have a pattern, right? If it's first a part by 4, then a part by 6, 8 and 10, and this one would be 12, and that makes sense because 30 plus 12 equals 42. 42 plus 14 equals 56, which means that this number is going to be 56 plus, so this one is plus 12, this one is plus 14, this one has to be 56 plus 16. 56 plus 16, we know it, it's 72. So that means that. The next number is 72. So this is our golden sequence. So that's it from the addition point of view. But what other operation do we know that ha involves increasing numbers? You're right, multiplication. So this multiplication is going to get a little more complicated, but don't worry, you're going to get used to this. Two. Hmm. What times two? equals 2. 1 times 2. 6. What times what equals 6? And yeah, I know there's 1 times 6, but that's not going to really help us. 2 times 3. Wait, 1, 2, 2, 3. 3, 4. 4, 5. 5, 6. Do you see the pattern now? Each of these are two consecutive or two consecutive numbers being multiplied to each other. Consecutive means next to. So it's two numbers that are always next to each other, two whole numbers that are being multiplied together. 42 equals 6 times 7. 56 equals 7 times 8. And in the next video, you'll uncover how this sequence is so important to calculating fraction problems. 